you're going to make a mini Christmas stocking, all you're going to require is small amounts of fabric for the outside and for the lining, and just two small pieces of the Vlieseline G700. So to make the stocking, you're going to need two outer fabrics, two lining fabrics, and two pieces of the Vlieseline G700. Now you'll find the template for the stocking in the album on the Vlieseline Facebook page. We're now going to fuse the G700 to the reverse of the outer pieces. The G700 has a rough side and that is the fusible side and a smooth side which is the non-fusible. And it is the fusible side that is going to the reverse of the fabric. What you'll do is you will place the G700 with the fusible side onto the wrong side, the unpatterned side of the fabric. Take a warm iron with a little bit of steam in it and just press the G700 in place. Once you've fused the G700 onto the reverse of the fabric, then leave it for approximately 20 to 30 minutes to allow the glue to adhere to the reverse of the fabric correctly. You can also use a tiny bit of steam in your iron or a damp cloth. Once you've pinned your two outer fabrics together, what we're going to do is pop them into the sewing machine. I've just popped a small amount of fabric in here because I don't want the threads to get caught underneath. If you reduce the stitch length down to two, and that is because we're going around curves. I'm just using a standard quarter inch seam allowance. And as I get to the curve, I can just manoeuvre it slowly around. If you need to stop and reposition your needle, then just do that gradually to make it a nice smooth curve. Once you've finished, just remove it from the sewing machine. Remove your pins and you're going to repeat the same process with the lining fabric. Here we have the outer fabric and the lining. Now we have a couple of options here when you've cut it out. We have the curves and we need to cut some small snips into the curves just to allow it to sit smoothly. Now the alternative is as you are cutting this out, you could have used pinking scissors and I'll just show you the edge of a pinking scissor and it just creates what looks like a little zigzag. So you have the two options of either using the pinking scissors or alternatively snipping small cuts into the seam. Once you've done that, you are going to turn the outer fabric through to the right side, but you leave the lining with the wrong sides together. Once the outer fabric is turned through, just smooth the curves. You can use the end of a paintbrush. You could use the end of your scissors. Roll the seams with your fingers and just get them to sit nice and flat. And then you can give it a little press. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the outer stocking, which has been turned through, inside the lining. 
so the right sides of the fabrics are together. And this is a little bit fiddly to start with. Just push it in because the whole thing we're trying to achieve here is that the top edges match. Now as you're popping it in, just make sure you haven't twisted the whole stocking around because what we want to make sure is that the heel is with the heel and the toe is with the toe. And you can quickly do that by just feel. So once you've pinned the top, we've matched the seams, pinned round the top, your temptation is to try and sew this from this top edge. But because the gap is a little bit smaller, it is much easier to open the stocking up so we're actually sewing on the inside. As I'm explaining that, it possibly feels a little bit foreign. When you're doing it, it will make life so much easier because you can so easily see the fabric that you're sewing and it's lying lovely and flat. So all we're going to do now is to sew round and leave a gap in the top for turning through. finished sewing and I have left a gap for turning I'm going to remove the pins and then we're going to turn the stocking through the gap so once you've turned it through then just pop some clips or pins in I'm going to top stitch this which is actually going to seal that opening you could of course slip stitch it if you want to and we're going to follow the same technique by sewing on the inside just because it's easier so you may want to consider your threads um, when you're doing this project. Right, so we're going to start here and we're just going to take our time and sew very slowly around that top edge. And each time just rotate it round. Make sure that your fabric is lying flat. Once you've finished sewing, remove it from the sewing machine, trim any stray threads, and then very simply turn the cuff over, and you've sewn a very quick Christmas stocking, which would be perfect as a gift bag. You could hang it on the tree. It's a lovely decoration. As you can see, Vlieseline has a wide range of products, each with different properties and benefits for your projects. You can view the whole range on the Vlieseline website, where you can download the brochure, which has detailed information on all of the products across our four categories. You can also join the conversation with us on our Facebook page, Creative Community Group and Instagram. All of the details are below.